and welcome to Painless Brazilian Portuguese Pronunciation Guide and course. I'm Ali, your guide in this journey, and I am from the website portuguesewithali.com. Um, and what are we going to study? Oh, I remember. It's the nasal vowel. Ooh. It's not like this. It's mm, <laughs> like this. So let's get started. This one is the easiest one, in my opinion, but I'm not a foreigner, I don't speak Portuguese as a second language, so I might be underestimating the hardship and the difficulty that this has for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I do know how, how what it feels like, because you see I'm speaking English and it's not my native language. Okay, so it's just the kind of part now that we're going to study, the, kind of, the nasal kind of part of ooh, mm, mm. And this is a common one when you have it in isolation, mm, that we also pronounce it with the lips closed. Mm. And it's the same thing. When we, we are counting, for example, instead of saying um, dois, três, we might say um, dois, três, and that's just the same thing. So sometimes you'll see that we open the mouth to pronounce it if it's in the middle of a word, for example. But if it's in isolation, we'll probably just close the mouth and say hmm like this and it it's this the the whole thing okay let's get started mleichi mleichi uleichi uleichi and in here you see uh, probably that when i say mleichi a milk mleichi i don't even even open my lips i don't need to but if i say Oh, leche, oh, leche. I do have to protrude my lips to make it clear that it's a vowel there. O leche, um, leche, o leche. Mundo, mundo, mudo, mudo. And here I do have to uh, like protrude my lips a bit because it's in the middle of a word. Mundo. But it's a nasal sound. Mundo. Again, mudo. Mudo. And here is an example of vowel contamination or nasal contamination. Funciona. Funciona. Pombo. Pombo. A kind of food that I really like. Mungunza. Mungunza. That's ah, really, really tasty. It's like, usually it's sweet, like lots of sugar, uh, milk, condensed milk. That's what we say here in Brazil. And corn. Oh my God. Mungunza é muito bom. And something I always ask my students. Alguma pergunta. Alguma pergunta? Unha. Now, that's it for today. In the next module, we'll talk about one very short nasal sound that we sometimes include in words to make it easier to pronounce. Let's continue.